Hey everyone, it's Julie. Today we'll be making eggnog. I've made eggnog many different ways and I can safely say this is the recipe that I will be passing down to my unborn grandchildren. Mm -hmm. So let's get started. So since this is an eggnog video, I know you guys wouldn't mind if I spent a couple extra seconds showing you how I separate my eggs. The first way is annoying. The second way is the best way to separate an egg, in my opinion. Now, if you're disgusted by touching a raw egg, get out of the kitchen! Just kidding. Just do it the first way. And whenever touching raw eggs or poultry, always make sure to wash your hands with soap before touching anything else. In my stand mixer, I threw in the egg yolks. You don't need a stand mixer, you can do this by hand. And you want to beat them until they turn a pale color. Add your sugar slowly and keep mixing until the sugar dissolves. That looks about right. Now we're going to warm up our whole milk and heavy cream. I grated some nutmeg, added a little bit of vanilla extract. We're going to cook this over high heat until it comes up to a boil and then we'll reduce the heat to low and let it simmer. Make sure to continuously stir the milk and you want to keep an eye on it. So we're going to temper our eggs by adding about a quarter cup of the warm milk while mixing our egg yolk sugar mixture and that will prevent the eggs from curdling. We're then going to take our tempered egg yolks and add them to our milk mixture slowly. And remember we're cooking this over low heat. Now if you feel like your eggs curdled, you may strain your mixture, place it in a container. You want to refrigerate this for a couple hours before serving it. And I'm sort of a scaredy cat. My saute pan didn't have a pour spout, therefore I used a ladle. Note to self, I need a funnel. And like I always say, let your egg not cool a bit before placing it in the fridge. You never want to place hot food or liquids in your fridge. It's not healthy. I added some bourbon. Of course, that's optional. You may leave it out. I refrigerated this for about three hours and before I served it, I whipped up some egg whites. You want to whip your egg whites until they form stiff peaks like this. The egg whites is what's going to take this eggnog to the next level of deliciousness. It's going to make it super creamy. And of course, if you don't feel like adding the egg whites or the alcohol, you may omit both steps and serve it as is. I didn't fold my egg whites in, I whisked them in, and by whisking them, it gave me the best texture ever. That looks really good. We're now going to place our eggnog back in our container. The texture is super creamy, just how I like it. If you don't like it creamy and prefer it runny, leave out the egg whites. I did make a mess. I like to serve it in a wine glass. I sprinkled a little bit of cinnamon on top and I can't get over how creamy and delicious that looks. And I promise that you guys are going to love this recipe. I really hope you guys give this recipe a try. Hope you enjoyed this video and thank you guys so much for watching.